Previously on Silver Sun. I know him. I trust him with my life. But why? Because he saved it once. I don't think I've got any other option than to reanimate Commander Darius. Why are we doing all this? Hasn't Stroke already told you what happened? I want corroboration, that's all. So they really don't believe me? He's not going to tell them anything different. No, I don't think so. Everyone on Star Runner is smart, but... But not smart enough, right? <laughs> it's the truth. It's just lonely. That's it, exactly. The Code Matrix has been electronically mutilated. Which means? It looks like the pod's been booby-trapped. If we can't reanimate Darius, we'll have to try someone else. Be my guest. I'm not going to betray my crew anymore. What about this? You and me, winged horses flying across the heavens. Doesn't that mean anything? Today, Cadet Pilot Strager allowed Infinity to crash into an asteroid. And as a result, we were unable to escape a nearby wormhole. It's all lies. He's lying. Confine Strager to sick bay. You don't know what you're doing. Darius was an idiot. I'm the innocent one. Cadet Tang Wilson, you are stood down to await your court martial. Star Runner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. any of this seem wrong to you? When I first received contact from Strager, I couldn't believe it. I'd spoken to him a few weeks before, and the Infinity was still six months behind us. Now he was saying they were ahead, with one engine disabled, and the rest of the crew was frozen. I didn't know what to think. Why didn't you come to me? He said that things had gone wrong on the Infinity. And if Wer was to get out, he would be killed. By whom? Star Command. And you believed him? You don't know him very well, sir. He's very convincing. And do you still believe him now? No, sir. It's a little late to come to your senses. Your friendship is going to cost you dearly. I'm sorry. So am I, Tane. You're confined to quarters until further notice. And remember, you're being monitored. Finished with those checks? The computer system is in A1 order, except it could use a good dusting. I guess some crews aren't that particular about hygiene. Okay. Let's turn this baby over. Oh, do you mind if um, I do it? I just... I never get to sit in the pilot seat. It's only a test, you know. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't dream of doing anything else. OK. We'll be commencing start-up procedure of the remaining portside engine in 10 seconds. I only want a short burst of the turbines to descale the vanes and reinstate the fuel flow. Do not engage thrust. Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. I don't want to die. So long as we're clear on that. OK. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage. <laughs> OK, disengage. Disengage. <laughs> that was awesome. Imagine what it's like with two engines. So, um, it's working all right? Portside engine in perfect operational order. Now all we need is a crew to fly her. And... Module returning to Star Runner. Dad, you're back. Hey there, mate. I missed you. Did anyone miss me? Did you go somewhere? Status report. The Infinity is now operational. Good work. For a ship that's been through a wormhole, it's in pretty good nick, really. 
maneuverability. With only one engine, it should take approximately 12 hours to navigate away from the Sargasso disk into free space. Why so long? Well, movement's restricted with just the port side engine. We have to run short bursts, backwards and forwards, until we're clear of all space debris. Well, thanks for your insights into piloting. Well, I did turn the engine over. Once. But with Tane... With Tane out of action, I guess we'll be looking for new trainee pilots. We won't move the Infinity until the crew's been successfully reanimated. How long will that be? Assuming we break Stroker's encryption code minimum 24 hours. They all seem peaceful in there. Well, most of them have no idea they've just spent six months at the end of a wormhole. You're so vulnerable when you're in suspended animation. Hey, guys. I think I've found a way to isolate the crew pods from the settlers. Why? So we can work on them from outside of the system. They're the only ones we want reanimated. Well, you'd better be careful. I am. We just take these pods out of the system. Now we can physically move them wherever we want to work on them. Is that wise? Of course it is. He's just trying to protect the settlers from anything that could go wrong. Yeah. Taking them offline frees them from any work we do trying to crack the encryption. I don't know. I say go for it. It's perfectly safe. Alert. Reanimation will commence in one hour. Well, how did that happen? He must have built a tripwire into the system. A tripwire? Any attempt to alter the system triggers a full reanimation. Every pod? That's what it looks like. Well, you've got to stop it. That's what I'm trying to do. Contact Star Runner now. How much time have we got? 59 and a half minutes? Status report, Infinity Team. Not good. 49 minutes and counting, and so far all standard methods of intervention have failed. Copy that. Have you tried code word Pegasus? It's worked before. Deegs is trying it now. What if we can't stop the countdown? All 560 pods open at once. It's a lot of confused, angry people to deal with. Not to mention lack of space. Where do that many people stand? Can't we just resuspend them? Do you have any idea of how big an operation that is? And we don't have enough coolant. The ships were never designed for the entire cargo to be reanimated until touchdown. This could be a major disaster. We'll all have to return to Earth. Let's not throw in the towel just yet. Infinity Team to Star Runner. That's a negative on Pegasus. I repeat, negative. Any other ideas? It's now 47 minutes and counting. Sheng, take over. Panther, you come with me. Even with extra coolant, I've estimated that it would take at least six months to restore all of the Infinity Settlers into suspended animation. If they agree to go back under? Yes. There's likely to be between 5 and 10% who would refuse. Understandably so. These settlers would consume all the food reserves in under two years. And how long will it take Infinity to limp back to Earth? With one engine operational, Infinity would take at least four years to complete the journey. Sounds like... Both crew and settlers would starve to death before they made it back. Not very nice. We know you booby-trapped the pods. We want the release code to cancel the countdown. Now. Sorry. No can do. We connect at a cybernetic level. I understand your isolation. Please give me the codes. Try and work it out yourself if you're so smart. You would seriously stand by and let your crew and cargo die. I have nothing more to say. Come on, this has to be the one. I don't believe it. Pancha, this isn't working. Keep trying. We're in the process of organising a mass evacuation to transport overflow to Star Runner. In the meantime, you need to set up an emergency field hospital in the largest free space available. Copy that. Field hospital? What for? If all these pods open at once, it'll be like popcorn overflowing from a pot. Which ones will we deal with first? The nearest ones. Let's go. So I suppose you're happy about all this trouble you've caused Tane? No, I'm not happy about it. But it was inevitable. What? You planned it? The moment Tane responded to my distress call, I knew he'd do whatever I asked. How? Tane and I are much closer than you and he will ever be. And how do you figure that? He told me all about you just after you first met. When did he tell you about me? That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't it? 
No. Because Tane and I look out for each other. I would never do anything to hurt him like this. You forget. I saved his life. That doesn't give you the right to destroy it. Come on, guys. We need to get this place as clear as possible. There's room for more beds over there. How many settlers are we expecting, Mum? Worst case, hundreds. We can't fit hundreds of people in here. We can if they stand up. You can't expect them to stand up the whole time. Why not? They've been lying down for two years. <laughs> They'll sleep in three shifts around the clock. But then how am I going to play cue ball? Maybe you'll have to play some computer chess for a while. Come on, guys. Out of the way. I never thought we'd have this much company. Let's hope we don't. I can't help thinking there's something missing from all of this. What, you know where there's more sleeping bags? No, 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 Strager's story. Lay off about that, I was wrong, I admit... No, 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 hear me out. If the infinity came through a wormhole, where is it? The wormhole? Yes. I see no proof of it ever existing. Sheng, we've got enough on our plate without worrying about wormholes. Tane? Leave me alone. I know you wouldn't have done any of this without good reason. Go away, Leonella. I still care for you. I'm sorry for putting you through this. But the best thing you can do right now is stay away from me. About Tane. He is being electronically monitored just like Strager. I've never heard him talk like this before. I do have more pressing problems, Leonella. He's totally crushed. Well, maybe the enormity of his actions are finally hitting home. You're talking like he's a hopeless case. What about all the good things Tane has done? What about the times he saved our lives? I understand your concern, but that is for a full service tribunal to weigh up. Misguided loyalty is no excuse. Maybe he's not the only one whose loyalty is misguided. Tane. Commander. I find myself in a difficult situation. Sir, I know what I've done and I am prepared to accept my penalty. My biggest regret is that I let you down. You have a chance to redeem yourself. Are you interested? You walk around freely while I'm still shackled. I assume you're on their side now? It's not about sides, Strager. Isn't it? We're all part of a team, working towards the same goal. I used to think I was part of a team, but it didn't take long for the crew to turn against me. We're all under pressure in space. It's so easy for things to go wrong. It's so hard to fix. But when you're alone, really alone like I was at the back of that wormhole, you ask yourself why things went so wrong. They forced me into that pod, froze me against my will. I didn't deserve that. How did you get out? They were idiots. I pre-programmed it to defrost after they were suspended. Whatever may have happened to you, you can't destroy the lives of those on board the Infinity. But I've already saved their lives, Tane. Just like you saved mine. Shouldn't that make me a hero? You saved me so we could do great things together. That was our pact. We're the winged horses. We can fly across the heavens. Yeah, it was a nice thought, wasn't it? We can't let it end this way. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Julian, I need the pod code. Any luck? That's it for me. You can't just give up. I don't know what else to do except hit it with a piece of pipe. We need more people over here from Star Run. What are they waiting for? Deegs, we have to accept that this is going to happen. Zandy's right. We have to be proactive about this. We can't do anything but wait. Why? Why don't we blow open some of the pods now? Are you kidding? 
They'll be confused, disoriented, and they'll have no memory for ages. That's going to happen anyway. Every minute counts now. We've got to get a head start. I agree. Can you imagine what it'd be like to wake up inside a pod and not know where you are? Pretty horrible, I'm sure. That's going to happen to hundreds of them. And who knows how long they'll be stuck inside those towers. Come on, Deeks. Yeah. Yeah. If the cargo of the Infinity does defrost, it'd be the end of our mission too. I'm aware of that. If we have to ferry the settlers back to Earth, I doubt there'll ever be another mission to the Silver Sun. We'd be an expensive failure. We can't let that happen. I'm working on it. Commander Syriac to sick bay. Strega has agreed to disarm the pods. Good. I'm glad reason has prevailed. I'll patch you through to the Infinity now. There is one problem. I have to go back to the Infinity Bridge to do it. Why can't Deegan have me given the code? It's too complex. My own computer language. If any amateur tries to muck around with it, you'll run out of time. I believe you have less than 25 minutes left. All right, then. I'll accompany you back to the Infinity to oversee this. That's not going to work either. Why not? I only want Tane with me. He's the only person on both ships I can trust. Why should I accept this? You haven't been exactly straightforward so far. I won't waste your time with a promise then. Commander, I give you my word that I will keep you informed of our progress every minute. This is not a trick. Are you sure about this? We've got under 20 minutes left. Come on, do it. Sorry, mate, but it's the only way. Infinity team, hold all procedures. Repeat, hold all procedures. Copy that, Pancha. Tell me you've got some good news. Module is about to depart with Tane and Strager on board. What? Repeat, Tane and Strager will be arriving in 10 minutes to defuse the situation. Roger that, Pancha. I don't care who you send so long as they can fix this. ETA is 10 minutes. Five minutes to disembark. That leaves us with five minutes. I can't believe you agreed to do this. Your displeasure is noted. We're giving the prison keys to the inmates. Who's to say they won't take the ship and escape? The Infinity isn't going anywhere in a hurry. You told me that. To travel into the disc is certain death. Even so, I... I am trying to save this mission, Steve. Yes, sir. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Are we going to do this? Good luck. Module on course for the infinity. ETA five minutes. Copy that. Leonel is very loyal to you. Yeah. I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Scanning for course direction. Infinity tractor beam locked on. I can save you, Tane. I can make all this right again. No one can do that. Don't give up on me yet. Let's just concentrate on stopping the countdown. Hailing Infinity team. Stand by for landing and immediate disembarkation. I'm sorry about snapping before. I guess I still feel stupid about being taken in by Strager. That's okay, I should never have got jealous of him. It's nice to know you care enough to be jealous. <laughs> what are you looking for? Evidence of a temporal disturbance. The wormhole. If the infinity came through one, there still should be some traces nearby. But you can't find them? No. There could be a wormhole somewhere near the centre of the disc that we can't detect. What took you so long? Talk to the pilot. Where do you think you're going? The hold's this way. I need to do this from the bridge. Then we'll come too. No, you stay in the hold. In case I can't do this in time. We'll need to okay this with Syria. You're just wasting more time. Deeks, you go. I've got this under control. What do you want me to do? Just stand back and let me work. 
He must be doing it by now. I'm not detecting any extra computer activity on the Infinity. Nothing's happening. Have faith, Steve. What are you doing? There's a few things I have to check first. We're running out of time. He's not going to make it. He has to. Fifty-two seconds to zero. Straker. What is he doing up there? You can't trust either of them. Thirty-nine seconds to zero. Get ready for emergency stations. Okay, we'll start unloading pods from the top of each tower first. I hate them both for this. Twenty seconds to zero. We have to get another module over there now. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shouldn't something be happening by now? Maybe they did it. Status check. Reanimation aborted. System is back to normal. Infinity team, update. Reanimation sequence has been aborted. We are code green. Repeat. We are code green. I knew it. Well done, Tain and Stryker. You didn't do anything. Well, did you really think I'd risk the lives of my crew? It was a tactical move. You'd better get down to the hold and explain this now. Okay. What are you doing? Fixing everything. Infinity's moving. It's changing its heading. He's going into the disc. On one engine. That's suicide. Infinity, explain your engine firing. Tane, respond. Simple, Commander. I'm taking the Infinity back to the Sagasso disc. Don't be ridiculous, Draker. We're moving. Tane, what's going on? It's got to be another one of his tricks. We've got to stop them. Cease and desist. Strager, this is an order. Tane, respond! We've got to go back. That's what I'm trying to do. I can fix everything if I get back to where it all went wrong. What? The past. Evasive action now. I need your help. This is insane. We're never going to make it. Two best pilots in the galaxy can do anything. Look out! Stop the engine! It's too late now. We're there. What's going on? Stranger, you must stop now! You cannot navigate through the disc! You are risking the lives of your cargo and our crew! Please, Tane, come back! 